Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSR 3 video. Uh, first things you guys might have noticed the new hood of the MSI Afterburner slash the Riva Tuner. So, yeah, I have thought uh, I'll make some adjustment to the hood UI because most of the time the hood is like uh, at the left side of the screen, and uh, uh, in some games, there are some hood elements at the left side of the screen and they get obstructed by this UI. So, I thought I'll make it uh, at the top. So, you guys let me know in the comment uh, if this is good or bad. Uh, don't just judge by the first look, like uh, take it some time to look at the UI. Like, GPU is this side, CPU is this side. Uh, there is the PS on the frame time so yeah uh, it will get a little bit uh, time to adapt to the old viewers who used to watch uh, with the old uh, river tuner UI but uh, yeah do let me know in the comments and uh, let's begin this video without any delay <clears throat> so this is the game called steel wakes the deep and this is an unreal engine game uh, you can tell it by the fps like it's literally at the 30 and 40s uh, this game is where you are working as an oil rig worker and you will have to fight uh, from the what do you say uh, something like the stranger things uh, some otherly world parasite some evil parasite will attack the ship and you will have to save your teammate and venture through this adventure so yeah this is just an overview of the game and this game is very much unoptimized like uh, right now my setting is uh, 1080p with uh, everything is on medium i just can't change the lightning to high it just have high and epic uh, sorry can't change to medium so yeah that's why it's on high and uh, the upscaling is set on tau medium this game does have fsr 3 frame generation as you can see here fsr 3 quality frame generation on but uh, i don't know for some reason the stock uh, frame generation uh, is not giving me much fps i mean it's it is giving me fps but the mod is giving me even more fps like right now you can see it's around 52 50 uh, around 50 to 52 but uh, the mod uh, is uh, giving me even more fps so yeah we're going to uh, use the mod so yeah let's uh, install the mod now this is the new list of prices for offline activated and rental games as you can see on your screen right now feel free to pause the video at any time and select your games then come to discord and send message to the cheap games buying channel or just dm me all right so after quitting the game uh, we will be needing dlss enabler 2.90801 this is the latest stable version which just released uh, maybe a few hours ago or so this contains a huge changelog the full changelog uh, will be on your screen you can get this file from the link in the description uh, also it's available on the discord so and uh, run the dsss enabler now we're gonna select then click next next now we need to go to the installation folder of uh, still works the deep which is here uh, after that uh, we will be needing to go to the habitat then binaries then win64 we need to select this path if you select the root path previously back like at this area the dlss never won't work so we need to select this path so we're going to click on the path then it will alter automatically get selected then right click on it copy come to the dlss launcher select the whole path delete it then paste then click next now you can uh, install it for the AMD and Intel GPU too if you don't have an NVIDIA GPU you need to tick on this but if you do have an NVIDIA GPU you don't need to tick on it you can just try it from these four settings so for most of the users the DLL version will work but if it doesn't work you can try the WinM version this is also very compatible so yeah you can also have uh, these two options uh, which is one for heavily modded game one is if everything else fails so yeah but i'm just gonna install the dll version uh, do try the other version if the dll doesn't work and don't forget to tick this if you have an amd in, in, in intel gpu so yeah after that you can just click on the reg file uh, reg file shortcuts like where you can disable and enable the signature file checks now click on next install 
it will get installed now we're gonna jump back into the game and see how much more fps we're getting with this uh, dlss 3 frame gen mod which is actually fsr 3 but yeah let's see all right uh, we are back in the game and fps is still around the same 50 54 52 because i think we are utilizing the fsr 3 frame generation so yeah let's switch to dlss 3 which is actually fsr 3 but uh, yeah that one is giving me more fps with this mod so yeah now we're at the dlss uh, along with quality uh, frame generation on we're gonna hit apply then come back to the game and uh, yeah now it's more smoother i think you can notice it in the video also and you can look at the fps it's now around 80 to 90 territory so yeah on taau medium it was around 34 and now it's around 90 94 it will get 100 if i look that way yeah so yeah it's almost three times the fps uh, with this simple dlss enabler mod uh, also one more thing uh, the oniscolor preview 9 just released along with uh, the new dlss uh, 3.7.0 and uh, many more uh, change logs so yeah uh, i'll be making a short video on that too so yeah stick around for that and yeah this will be it for this video now this if it helps you uh, you can subscribe to the channel comment down below if you are facing any kind of issue and don't forget to join the discord for more upcoming mods and many many things so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one cheers